Hello and welcome to my creative world. My name is U1 and I want to show you a sorting system that I built. It is uh, loosely based on uh, Seth Bling's design from the Minecraft server and it also has these uh, torture towers, sorry, this dropper elevator uh, made by Drake Derby, I think. And I'm gonna link to their videos in the description. And we got rain. So what are the properties of this sorting system? Well, for the first part it is totally silent. I guess that is a nice feature. And um, it is expandable in all directions. You can build it as high or as wide as you like. And uh, for you who aren't familiar with uh, this type of sorting system, come on. This is going great. For you who aren't familiar with this type of sorting system, uh, the item goes in and up and down. And it tries to uh, go into the chest. If there is a vacant place in the chest, the item will go in there. So, here, like this. Um, another nice feature about the system is that it is very accurate. Uh, nothing skips through. And you really want that if you're going to expand the system like this. So, if the item have a chance to go in, in, into a chest, it will do so. Um, I guess it's also decently fast. Item Items goes into the chest about one item a second. And it takes about... whoops one you can calculate the speed which by which the item go down the line by adding up the chests and uh, uh, multiply by 1.3 about in seconds so this is a 240 chest system and for an item to go in and go all the way down take about five minutes I think which I guess is decent um, another good thing about the system it is is that it's easy to build um, you just has have to repeat the patterns basically as you can see it's same all the way down. So uh, <coughs> I actually built a smaller model that we can have a look at. Yeah. So as you can see there is not really much going on here. Um, the circuit board sorry <laughs> it's really <laughs> it's really simple but but um, there is a lot of timing issues with a system like this with these these torch towers um, so, <laughs> so you have to account for that um, I really, really, really had a hard time uh, get this this synchronized. I tried so many combinations. Um, and if you're gonna build it, you you're pretty much gonna have to build it exactly like this. If you change anything here, if you do like that, for example. 
<coughs> things will start to fall through the system without going into the chests. And we don't want that. So we have uh, a clock on a 6 tick speed. Um, I have that extra repeater here to compensate for uh, for the torch. We have this uh, elongation of the pulse, so we assure that there is always a side powered. That's why you don't hear anything from the note block, because the note block is always powered. So if I do like that, we get the sound, and that we don't want. So that's not needed, by the way. Um, it's kind of important also that you uh, have the system in phase. Um, so if you if you add the torch on one side, you have to add the torch on the other side. Uh, and if you're going to do like I have done here and add an extra torch, you have to add them in pairs. So that one and that one has had to be added. And we had to compensate for the extra ticks. And we also added an additional tick to uh, get synchronization between these two. So these two are in perfect sync, like here, on this diagonal. Mm, yep. Another thing we have the, the drop hopper, hopper, yeah. The hopper chain here is going in a zigzag pattern like this. And it's also important that this hopper is above this block, powered by that torch. Um, because when stuff get into the system, they are out of sync and this helps synchronize it. So if you, if you move this and maybe go this way, stuff will start to fall through. Not good. Um, it also really important that the first column is powered by the right side of the system and that um, you have an even number of chests so here we have four high height wise i will say so four you can have six and eight and so forth. Um, I actually did a video on this system a couple of days ago, but I took it down because it had it, it had a bug. I was I had to add this extra uh, <laughs> hopper uh, hopper drop. This extra hopper here and lower uh, this hopper chain one because item had trouble to pass through these two blocks. Yeah, I guess that's about it. If you want to expand, you of course just build here and you start to to copy this side like that and the next one goes here of course yeah like this so you copy that one and it's just copy paste copy paste mm. so it's kind of easy to build. I also try to expand it on the height. Made this one. Works really good. No problem. There is um, of course a lot of lightning light updates when you work with torches like this. 
So there is some FPS lag. Um, you lose a couple of FPS and it really helps to light up the system so, so you don't get shadows popping in and out of existence. Uh, it's easier for the game to render than I could perhaps add some more maybe ah, looks good like yeah I'm not sure if I need to make a tutorial of this or if you just you can just pause the video here and there I guess and uh, if you want to if you want to make a system like this you can pause and uh, take screenshots or what not so easy to build As all YouTubers say, um, if you want me to add another video or if you want me to make a tutorial, please please leave a note in the comment. Um, yeah, thank you and goodbye.